Blue Unmasked as Hollyoaks confirms gangster's identity in its unexpected. After weeks of speculation, Hollyoaks has revealed the identity of notorious gangster Blue, confirming that the supposedly cold-blooded killer is none other than family man and former board game enthusiast Dave Williams. Blue, who first received a mention last month, has wreaked havoc on Warren Fox's life with a meticulous and well-thought-out plan to destroy the long-serving mainstay, which prompted speculation among fans that the villain was an old face in the vein of scheme Queen Claire Devine or the devilish Brendan Brady. Though there have been hints of him possessing a dark side in the past, Dave has for the most part proven to be a laid-back family man. Albeit, an unreliable and hapless family man who always says the wrong thing, puts his foot in it and lets people down. Him being capable of a revenge plot this meticulous let alone cold-blooded and calculated murder is certainly unexpected, especially when you factor in how proud he was of policeman son Sam, not to mention how hard he came down on Ethan for accidentally killing Maya, despite the fact he was simply trying to save the family. Upon the big reveal, a flashback sequence was employed to explain away any plot holes, showcasing a number of Dave moments from years gone by, isolating particular lines of dialogue I'm not the man you need, plus a past showdown with Ethan to try and retcon in that he was always capable of such brutality. Whether it fully holds up when the scenes in question are analyzed in context is up for debate but, out of context, they aid a little in building a picture that Dave isn't the nice guy he pretends to be. Last month, he confessed to Cindy Cunningham that he was responsible for the death of Lizzie's baby, revealing that he accidentally drove a social worker off the road years ago, killing both the social worker and the child. He claims that this was the catalyst in him turning his back on criminality. In a candid chat with co-conspirator Rex, Dave revealed that he brought his blue persona out of retirement for one reason and one reason only to destroy Warren following his role in Lizzie's demise. Rex, it turns out, is an old associate of Dave's from back in the day, with the two having unexpectedly crossed paths for the first time in years during the Hannah Ashworth story. This chance meeting sparked the beginning of Blue's comeback, with Rex revealing that he was inspired by the legendary killer, promising to be his soldier once again as they embarked on a revenge plot to take Warren down once and for all. There are still questions aplenty, such as how Ethan who we have not seen enough of lately fits into this equation in respect to Dave's new backstory. The co-owner of the loft would surely be old enough to remember the days where his hapless and incompetent older sibling was somewhat less hapless and incompetent and more cold-blooded, so expect to get those answers soon. There's also the question of why Dave never revisited Blue when Ethan was in danger in the past with Norma or Maya or when insult Eric Foster spiked Lizzie and targeted Mason as part of his twisted mission. And where does his relationship with Trish Miniver and fathering Maxine factor in in this new timeline? so many questions. The episode in question also confirmed a major fan theory, with Donnie Clark informing Ms. Malik that he's a former cop chasing Blue as he has a personal vendetta against the killer. It turns out that Donnie was present at the scene when the social worker and Lizzie's baby were killed, with Blue taking a shot at him, which ultimately hit Andre, hence his desire to catch the gangster. The question is, will Donnie succeed in his mission? Will Blue aka Dave be caught out and his identity uncovered? And more importantly, will this play a role in the departure of Cindy? Bạn vừa rồi theo dõi một sản phẩm của Isel Soleil. Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại các bạn ở những video sau.